Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie review podcast and talk show that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a mission to take over the world, the podcasting world, the movie world. And the movie world. The podcasting movie world. Mm-hmm. Well, how can they help us out with that, the the folk, good folks that are listening? <laughs> Give us money. Oh, okay. no. Uh, you meant, you meant uh, rate and review. Uh, <laughs> like or subscribe. That's yeah. fine. That's watch, watch us on YouTube. Smash that bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch us on YouTube. <laughs> fine. Smash that bell. Ding, ding. Ch- ch- check the um, episode description for a link to our PayPal where you can donate directly, right, Sean? <laughs> Sean just wants cash. Right, so. right, right. And our PayPal is just Sean.Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. PayPal is just yeah. Like, yeah, it's we also have t-shirts. For the show. <laughs> That's right. You can go to Tee Public. We actually do have real t-shirts. Yes, we do. And Not... coffee mugs and mm-hmm. fun stuff. I want and pillows. Uh, we should just get stickers and sticker the town. Yeah. I think we have to create a viral moment for us. Everyone will be like, "What is the Saturday Night Freak Show?" <laughs> you no, know, that's what the Somebody stickers should. In the background. We've been around for ten years. <laughs> the stickers should just say, "What is the Saturday Night Freak Show?" with Ooh. the with the link on the bottom. There we go. It's like oh, like a oh, Batman. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Probably by the time you're listening to this episode. That may be available. Who knows? <laughs> good, so good. who are these people who are talking to you? They're the internet radio superstars. Holly, but you can call me Little Italy. <laughs> Michaela. Sean, I forgot. I was like, I got nothing. <laughs> as soon as you yeah. did, I was just like, I have yeah. no nickname. I forgot. I oh, well, I'm calling you. can call me Laredo. Laredo. So, we were the only two prepared. I know. I'm gonna, I'll be El Paso. <laughs> All right. I got okay. nothing. <laughs> so. uh, you know, it'll come naturally to me over the episode. I'm not going to force yeah. it. You guys can't force. You don't force a nickname. It right, comes that's to true. That's right. Okay. Your T-bone well, from now on. Sorry. Yeah. All right, T-bone. That's fine. Okay, the T-bone, right, Tyson. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by John. Mm. What did we watch tonight? Uh, we watched 1989's Action USA. There wasn't much action behind that. I want you to do it again. Action. USA. There we go. Yeah. USA. Yeah. Directed by uh, John Stewart. Not, Not that John. John Stewart. No, 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 no. What do we know of this John Stewart? John know Stewart. Him? Uh, well, uh, I mean, he's a stuntman, a director, and an actor, but he's done a lot more stunt work than he does has anything else. Uh, wait, hold Shocking. on. Let me grab the list. This is his stunt crew or stunt performance. Yes, these say. are his. Stunt he's a coordinator or a performer. Uh, co- both. Okay. Like, he's mostly coordinating throughout all this, but uh, I mean, he started out with Hard Rock Zombies in 1985, Savage Dawn, Alien Warrior, Foxtrot, Neon Maniacs, Billy Gavin, The Tomb, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He did stunts. Mm, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Armed Response, Death Flash. A lot of movies kind of like the one we watched tonight. I was like, these <laughs> all sound like find. fake movies. Wired to Kill, Star <laughs> Slammer, Munchies. Let's not ever forget <laughs> Cyclone, Open House, Creepazoids. These all have the covers that yeah, you're imagining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Zombie High, Slaughterhouse Rock. Even Which the we stunt were, yeah, Holy. Slaughterhouse Rock. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was going to say, like, we, t- we talked about stunts? Hard Rock Zombies on that episode, because yeah. that's often a double feature. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, but uh, Terminal Entry. Ooh, The Hidden. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. He's working his way up through yeah. the ranks. Cold Steel, Crime Killer, Sorority Babes in the Slime Bowl Bowl Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Deep Space, Night of the Demons, Death Spa. Ha ha. Ah, right. This guy deserves to be on the wall. Yep. I think so, yeah. His yeah. stunt work. Mm-hmm. Phantasm 2, Nightmare at Noon, Survival Quest, Deadly Intent, tons of stuff. And we're mm-hmm. only in 1989 at this Jesus, point. Yeah. Okay, so. but did he ever graduate to like major Hollywood? Like, yeah, is he in like Saving Private Ryan or something? Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I mean, well, he's directing never got he's there. He's done a lot of movies that we've done on the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's mostly our stuff. Nothing. Leprechaun 3, mm-hmm. which is, I will. That's go Vegas, right? Say it's a good movie. Yeah. What, Vegas, director good or movie. stunt crew? Stunt crew. Okay. That's stunt probably crew the best there. of the Leprechaun movies. It, it's one of them. The first one and the third one are pretty mm-hmm. good. Scanner Cop. Mm-hmm. We did that first 3. one. Oh, okay. okay. So he's okay. done a lot of horror. Witchboard 2, Night, and then Night Trap, and then Dark Rider, and Grand Canyon, and Journey of I. We've named everything. A lot, of, a lot of people being defenestrated. In a lot of yeah, people being defenestrated. <laughs> as far as directing goes, he never quite made it to high tier. I mean, he did direct a lot of episodes of the Power Rangers. The Mighty Morphin Power uh, Rangers. The TV show. Uh, that explains a lot. Uh, yeah. It does, doesn't it? So he was... Did a lot was of this his there. first movie? As director? Uh, I think it was this or Cartel. So when you yeah, say... this, and then he did Click the Calendar Girl Killer in 1990, unrated. Mm. And then Cartel, and then Hidden Obsession, Power Rangers. Okay, so I guess here's my thing, I suppose, for the listener at home. Action USA is a movie directed by a stuntman. Yes. 
where it's basically like you know stunt guys going like you want a shot of stunt straight to your <laughs> fucking heart that's what their mission was in making this movie right because i mean there's also a movie called stunt rock which if you guys haven't heard of stunt <laughs> rock we've talked it, about it before <laughs> uh it just stunts you know movie stunts but it's stunt guys going like hey if we want to make a movie we want to put a bunch of stunts in it uh this is what you do so you kind of have to watch this movie it's like it's a technical exercise, right? More than it is like uh, an actual movie. A thorough narrative, yes. This yeah. Is, yeah. This is like watch stunt guys doing stunt shit for real just because it's like them goofing mm-hmm. off in Waco, Texas. Right, which Basically. I was not aware of when we when I heard that we were watching this movie, mm-hmm. but it did not take me long to figure that out. <laughs> right. <laughs> it. Right. You kind of come across those facts. I was like, huh, they're really, really doing their own stunts. Really early out of the game. And they're yeah. really... I'm um, impressive, but yeah, like dangerous stunts. Yeah, like yeah. You know, people getting hung out of helicopters and whatnot. Yeah. That kind of starts. Well, like, yeah, like right, right. Out, uh, out of the gate. Um, yeah, I guess. Um, well, I, okay, yeah, I suppose we can. Well, who's in the movie? I mean, uh, Gregory Scott Cummings. Okay, so Gregory Scott Cummings may be a name that you don't recognize. However, according to MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, we are putting inducting gregory scott cummings tonight to the hallway oh, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> wall he was in stone cold yes he was the helicopter pilot because a who wall was, who was here for it i was here for so yeah yeah he was yeah. the helicopter, helicopter pilot. pilot remember when they drive the dirt bike out of the window yes. and it blows the, he's the helicopter pilot that okay yeah. okay all right yeah. does that character have a name a wall okay. all right and uh he was also in that we did uh, I don't know. This Cliffhanger. Guy. He's been in Cliffhanger. This guy has a recurring role on It's Always Sunny. Oh, this Max Dad. Oh, Max Dad on It's Always Dad. Sunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Who is he? Interesting. <laughs> Who is a really dark character that a is very frequently dark. in and out of prison and may not be eating people? <laughs> one All of, right. One See, of my favorite side characters. Yeah, yeah. Same. <laughs> you right, know no, what no, actually no. Um, struck me about it in the the opening billing? He is not the star of the movie. The star of the movie is was Brittany Brandy, B- Barbie, uh, Barry, uh, yeah. Barry, what's it? Uh, Barry, 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 Barry. Barry Minton? Barry Murphy. Barry Murphy. Barry Minton. <laughs> That's Barbie her stage somebody name. Else. You guys okay, are just yeah. making noises. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we, we got Barry. Barry. <laughs> Who the hell is Barry uh, Murphy? Oh, because God, I don't know. She is the lead in the movie, apparently, even though it seems like you've got a lethal weapon kind of clone here. I mean, um, that, that is very true. I think and she is terrible. She's awful. I think her braless boobs are the star of this movie. Yes. They are, much to the director's yeah. chagrin. What? Which I mean, why? according to IMDb, uh, she refused to wear a bra for this movie, and the director did not and hated it. What? He, I don't think he wanted... Who is this man? I, John Stewart. <laughs> I think he may have been so stunt-obsessed he's like, we don't need boobs. No distractions. are in there, yeah. He's like, well, we showed them earlier. Cover them up. Well, she's very This is time for stunts. Very cute girl. Maybe not the best actress, but... uh, Maybe? <laughs> she yeah, like we're talking she'd be perfect on like 1989 Baywatch. Yeah. Like the really early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we <laughs> She's don't know very shrill. And we don't know what else she's done. Has she gone on to bigger and better things? I doubt it. <laughs> I'll find her. Okay. Well, all right. So let, I guess maybe when we're breaking this down, let's talk about and we'll we'll talk about the other uh folks who are in this movie as we go. Sorry, who was she's um only been in eight things? So well, this was not okay. Actually, you want to say it was her first uh, ninth life, which doesn't even get the courtesy of a poster on IMDb, so that's good. Armed for Action, hmm. Verdun Manor, Dangerous Curves, which is a TV series. Yeah. Uh, and she was in two episodes of Walker, Texas Ranger. And then she was done. Time Tracers, Julia, Diaz, yeah. And then Shadowed Love. Okay. <laughs> Don't you guys love Very when thorough. you are like when we're doing a movie for the show and you look at the IMDb and you're like, I feel like I've seen this person in something before and you click on it and their IMDb profile image is like a screenshot from the movie you're watching and you're like, oh, they've done nothing else. Like, yeah, yeah, you're like, oh, that's that's the movie I'm watching right now. This is what they're known for. (laughs) So the Action USA, right? Uh, I Mm -hmm. guess the other thing that I'm kind of curious about, right? We watched a movie tonight that, frankly, I had never heard of before it was released. By Vinegar Syndrome or Alamo Draft House. Vinegar Syndrome. Okay, so Vinegar Syndrome, who we've talked about in other uh, uh, episodes, discovers movies f- that are, are lost to time and then 
is able to hype them up and re-release them, and th- they do fairly well in sales, I think. Yes, uh, they do fairly well here, if nothing else. Yeah, because <laughs> well, amongst, like, movie... Okay, so, yeah, right, we're, we're the type of people, if you've seen everything, and it's like, what? A forgotten 1980s action classic. Right, hasn't been seen in 30 years, now has a 4K restoration, because yeah. that's what we're doing now. And, and a trailer, which I was sold. sold. When I saw this trailer, I was like, this looks like the most insane thing. I have to see it. And so you buy it sight unseen, right? Yes, it's what you as do. we did, yeah. And You are lucky you didn't get Malone. I know, I know. Yeah. We did, try. We, we? we try. Well, well, we'll figure that out. But we try. I like. I try not to like grab something. I'm just like, ooh, I want to be sure that I'm not going to get maloned. Well, my question is: mm. Is this the movie that came out in 1989, or is this a Vinegar Syndrome assembly? Because no, this is what came out in 1989. I don't believe it. Why not? Because I don't believe. Well, I don't know. Do you think like all the the end credits has this like outtakes and stuff like that? I mean, we're thinking that that was there in 1989. Oh yeah, I think so. Some of the digital transitions. That mean that it was like obviously reconstructed uh, maybe they were going smoky in the bandit with it if yeah because it happened in movies like yeah. that and okay. the, the bloopers during the credits yeah. used to be a way bigger thing back in the day um so no i believe it's part thing of, I it. Thought of it was smoking the band okay. well, yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right Got so maybe it is like i said no i think it is on, part of tape. a whole this this is the movie this movie has existed people have seen this movie okay so here we are action usa original mm-hmm. title apparently was uh, I was about to say In Harm's Way, and that is not the title. No, uh, it was A Handful of Trouble or yes, something like that. Yeah. According I like that. to the, <laughs> like the like bloopers that. there at the end. Um, okay, so the the or, opening. Or, uh, known as, it was released in the Philippines as Above the Law. Oh. Like the Steven Seagal movie? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, no, Steven, the Steven <laughs> Seagal one hadn't wait, come which out. which one? No, it had, because that was 87? Action Jackson? No, no, uh, Hard to Kill was 88. Above I, I the remember. Law? No, that wasn't out was yet. Was it late 80s? We have the technology. Was... We can find out. It feels like was Above the Law. Was that Was that his the first law. one? Out, out for Justice was like probably 90. I feel like Above the Law was like 90 or 91. I feel like hard to 1988. Above the oh, Law. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So okay. There you go. So they're trying to capture some of that maybe at this point. Well, they're, they're trying really to capture a lot of... big in the Philippines. A lot <laughs> they're trying to capture of, uh, a lot yeah. of the buddy 80s, cop yeah. 80s kind of sensibility there, if you couldn't tell. All right, well, let's describe for the audience this, I like, opening 20 minutes of the movie, maybe, because this, it feels to me, is the, um, like, it comes on strong. Yeah, by the end of this movie, I had, for like, I had to remind myself Where that, we we came s- from? that we started with, like, a weird... A weird, full montage of a Corvette, a sleek Corvette, I should say. Sleek one. Sleek one, <laughs> yes, with its giant cam sticking out of the front of the car, uh, of that driving... To some rock Literally song. using nitrous in a neighborhood. Yes. Yep. Playground. Yep. And we're like stunt guys with <laughs> their <laughs> Corvette, like terracing around. It's like, all right. And it's a dude with the hot girl in the in the car. And they're making out. Everyone's having fun. Their hair is blowing. It's a, it's a mm-hmm. White Snake music video. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then they end up at a house. She Thank can't you. wait to get him inside. And then the top comes off. And we're like, we're five she minutes into the movie. Can't oh, damn. Quote him on that. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. And, and the bad guys can't wait to get inside either, so they fucking knocked down that door. That was great. That, that was, was great because that door clearly had no hinge. No, no, none. No, it was balanced, it and was they balanced. pushed it Very gently. Yeah. Yeah. And it, went, it was propped against that yeah. frame. But I like that you didn't see them push it. It, it looked no, like it fell just, over on its own because they're yeah. standing stone still when it like falls down. Like the sheer down. force of them showing up <laughs> yeah. knocked that door yeah. over. Just with their pecs. They yes. were able yeah. to oh, walk yeah, the one, in, yeah. bam, and the door explodes or weird, it falls you over. You weird, muscly Freddie Mercury? It, yep. Yeah, it, it, I was going to say weird, convict muscly. Freddie Mercury. Yeah. Okay, Sean, this <laughs> character is what Max dad is in It's Always Sunny. Yes. This oh. character, 100%. Yes. 100%. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Are you trying to get away with Such something? a great character. I was going to say, wait, the uh, the muscle-bound dude? The, 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 the guy one looked guy, like Freddie Mercury. He <laughs> looked like uh, that guy from Frankenhooker. Where yes. my bitches at? Wasn't that him? Yeah. It looked like him. It probably wasn't the it same actor. It did look actor. like him. No, it wasn't him, but mm. it did look like him. And was that guy also in the other one where he yeah. died in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In with the brain, chocolate brain syrup? Brain damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um. So they kidnap the guy. This. Wasn't he in the shower? Like, you okay, bud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Kind of modern movies that. are magical. <laughs> Love them. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, they abduct the guy, right? We have no idea what the hell is going on. No, we don't know because he's talking about like 
uh, snow and, 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 and stars and, and whatever. Snow and diamonds. Yeah. Or snow and ice. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and going to Holland and all this stuff. And we're like, what the hell? And then, yeah, he's abducted out of the scene. We're like, who is this guy? Clearly, he has. We see that he has a gun in his uh pants and his belt true so he's so a it's dangerous like, individual yeah and so we're like okay he's a drug dealer or somebody's driving a corvette like what's going on and apparently he owes money to the wrong people who have now showed up and throw him in the trunk of a car but that's not good enough because they drive to the airport and then they put him on a helicopter and then they i mean this is we, we had a quite a lengthy uh car chase before we even got to a the helicopter full songs park. worth full songs worth and possibly our first taste of what the stunts will be in this movie, because it does feel like, and I think what I like about this movie is it does feel like a stunt was set up to be achieved. Like that is because this is the bus and the camper part where they're going to jump it. Well, that comes after we does go it? helicopter first. Yeah, does because he get dropped out of the helicopter. That's oh. what's so like crazy about this movie. It feels like you would end with him falling off of the helicopter, uh -huh. but no, that's just the middle of the chase scene. <laughs> Right? Because she tears off in his car. Right. He, they take him up in the helicopter. Then they dangle him out. So we got, you know, like, okay, stunt guys are really dangling this dude mm -hmm. out of the helicopter. And then they're flying low. Yep. Through going the through city, main streets. And then they drop him into the river. Then he crawls out and gets in her car. And then a chase scene through the city where. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are hanging out of doors. Oh, yeah. Uh, one, the one muscly dude's just up on the back of his car shooting at everybody. It's, yeah, it's quite an extensive She casing. falls out of a door, has to be, you know, <laughs> so they're at high speed going down the streets. They're going onto the sidewalk. People are jumping out of the way. And it's then, extensive. Yeah, they they got these, like, set up stunt scenes. Mm -hmm. Where, yeah, <laughs> they come across, uh, it's a bus and a camper that have apparently crashed. And there's one of those, uh, what do you call it? It's like a, a wrecker. Ramp? Yeah, a record with like the car ramp on the back, yeah. and they're just like, "We're gonna go." This is the best idea they have. It's <laughs> yeah. like we're gonna, we're gonna jump, jump it. it, and boy, do they not stick the landing! And they were it's not rough. wearing seats. It's yeah, rough. because it's one of those like it's at a train crossing or whatever. And yeah, so there's like 15 cars behind it, and then, you know, so we're like, "Oh, they're gonna jump these 15 cars." The other guy, uh, the other car, did that one explode? I can't remember. There's some good, like, uh, explosions. There were some very good explosions. At some point, they always punctuate the car, you know, like, uh, crash with a big I boom. think, oh, I think the, the, they went over it, and then the car chasing them went through the camper, and then, and then the expl camper exploded. exploded. Right, right, right. There's right. always a little delay <laughs> when driving through something before it explodes for yeah. maybe no reason. Yeah. So I guess that's the thing, like, you know, as you're watching this movie, I suppose you can be from the camp of like, OK, well, it's an action movie. And this is what you know happens. Mm. But it's like this is a low budget action movie. So it feels like wherever they shot this, I don't know if it was there was catering credited to Waco, Texas. And yeah, like they went to Dallas probably for the helicopter scene. But a lot of this does kind of feel like. The, the people who are around and in these scenes are just kind of like, uh, you know, bystanders. Mm -hmm. like, you want to be in a movie? Come watch the stunts. <laughs> yeah. And which, the, I mean, the small towns they filmed in, what else do those people have to do? And I include myself in this. Cause <laughs> I was, was going to say, we if, would absolutely jump oh, in the absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We're filming stunts down yeah. by the old railroad tracks. The Johnson place. I know. They Come just out don't, for the day. They don't do enough dynamite these days. Where <laughs> they don't. Mushroom cloud explosions <laughs> as they blow shit up. Do yep. you guys remember when they were filming? filming the dark night in chicago yeah. everyone oh, yeah. and their mom had a story about i was on michigan avenue and i saw them flip the batmobile i saw the joker <laughs> do that everyone and their mom yep. had uh -huh. saw some scene shot and then when we found out for dark night rises they were going to pittsburgh everyone was like what we need more <laughs> stories like we needed more of that i saw the stunt double for so and so yeah <laughs> i saw he fledger on the highway yep mm -hmm. everyone they everyone so sad. had a story yep. nobody yep. tells you the stories about like transformers dark in the moon because that's not brag worthy. Oh. No one cares. Yeah. <laughs> the Dark Knight was a bo universally beloved movie, so it's, yeah. it, you do want to brag about seeing that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's I It's not saw, like Revenge of the Fallen, but it's good. I saw Vince Vaughn. Here's my version. My version of this story is I saw Vince Vaughn filming The Dilemma with Kevin James when I was in Chicago. I don't go around telling everybody that because that's embarrassing. <laughs> 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 and now the whole very, world knows. Very embarrassing. Also, people are going to look. You'd be like, what the fuck was the dilemma? It, it was some Chicago's 
I remember they went to a Blackhawks game in the trailer, but it was a typical, wow. like, <laughs> I think they were going for, like, a hitch formula. Okay. But it, it's Vince Vaughn, not Will Smith, so the oh, charisma levels not, don't no, match up. No, yeah. very far down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> they're like, was Kevin James the star of Hitch? We're going to find <laughs> out. <Yeah. laughs> and put him in this movie with Vince Vaughn and see if he can elevate him. <laughs> if I pull up the poster for this, you'll be like, I remember that existed at some point, and that'll be it. Like, Boy. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well the um so with our main guy here uh, uh he's killed right because he, he is he's, he's shot in a ditch motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> bam 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 right oh there the you movie go the dilemma, for the dilemma. dilemma. Nope. Nope. tells me nothing yeah. about yeah. yeah vince vaughn looks like yeah. he's in a dilemma yeah yeah that's true he <laughs> does yeah. he does yeah that, that's, this, other than that this is, this is my is the, my famous scene i saw that is yeah. the worst poster huh. yeah yeah that's awful it's like clearly like a slob versus snob type thing, right? Or some, it's something. Not clearly anything. I, I, I don't know. No, <laughs> yeah. That is nothing. They look like, like a, they're yeah. trying to solve a dilemma. It's a. Do they? <laughs> I don't think they do. They're in a dilemma. <laughs> oh, my God. Ron Howard directed this movie. <laughs> what? Well, that's okay. why you don't remember okay. it right there. I'm done with this. Um, <laughs> Today is full of Back surprises. to the guy getting wow, shot okay. in the ditch, yeah. you motherfuckers. <laughs> he gets slow mo blown away. Yeah. Okay. So he's out of the movie. And so now the movie proper can begin a good 20 yeah. minutes into it. Okay. So what? who's in this movie? And what are they? Who are they? And now and they just they and they just drive up out of nowhere. The two FBI agents. <laughs> now it's. <laughs> yeah. Now it's a movie. Now it's Lethal Weapon. <laughs> now it's Lethal Weapon. Yeah. We have. Clay Osborne, who's our Riggs. Yes, he kind of looks like Riggs. Nobody says you should be registered as lethal weapon, but yeah, he's right. got that wild. Uh, this is uh, Gregory Scott. Gregory Scott Cummins. Cummings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then his partner Earl Panama. But he'd like you to call <laughs> call me Panama. Which we're gonna start right now. I'm gonna just call me Laredo. All right. All right. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even do it once. I, I, I feel like an asshole <laughs> doing that. All right, El Paso. I want you to tell me. So, uh, and who played Earl? Okay. All right. Or Panama? Since you edit these, every time you say El Paso, I want to hear in the background a. <laughs> that, that's, yes. Just, just slightly in the background. Every time. Thanks. Continue. All right. Um, sorry. Who was the actor who played uh, Earl? Uh, ooh. Probably on the back of the box. I mean, probably. Oh, I they don't have don't a cast. Remember. Okay. Um, so they have a uh, Riggs Murtaugh dynamic, and now they have come into possession or custody of Bambi, Barbie, Barry, uh, Barry, okay. Barry. Who Probably Barry. Keep making those noises. What's her name in the movie? Hold on, I'll figure that out in a second. <laughs> Carmen? Carmen. Carmen. Thank you very much. There we go. Thank you. Okay, Bravo, and Bravo. they. That's so, why you're here, Holly. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so basically, the story. I'm not even story. putting that in quotes. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I held there just okay, to see. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the story of the movie is going to be about, like, uh, uh, the original dude was an FBI agent who had turned and stolen... Um, Diamonds. Yes. From... Don Frankie. Frankie. Who is played by... Cameron Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Day performer Cameron Mitchell. Day performer like Cameron Mitchell. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't end anything with him, did we? No. no, no, no! He walked out of this movie. That's it. I can't even remember what his last he flew, scene was. Flew, maybe flew in the private jet out of this movie. I don't remember. Yeah. I think he was. Uh, did he? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. remember. No. I, he, he, was, he was in a tub, and then the, he was on a couch. A yep. tub with two girls. He yep. was, and then he flicked he water on, at them and yelled. Then he was, yeah, and he was yelling. I remember we were looking out the window behind him. I think he was like on a workout machine or something. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. and he yeah. was in a in a nice red jumpsuit. Yep, yep. As during you do. a pool party. During a pool party, as you do. You and then the last those. one, he was uh, he was uh, complaining talking. about the yeah. other mob mafia families and how they. I'm pretty sure they just put a ca uh, camera on Cameron Mitchell and just like talk. Yeah, and this is what we got. The two camera is that, is that the part where he's like holding a girl by her hair and she can't yes. leave? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah. the two guys come down the stairs yeah. and they're like, we, we can't do that, boss? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we don't know how to tell you that, that we can't do this. Yeah. Uh, Cameron Mitchell was also recently on uh, from uh, Whisper, Whisper to a, to a Scream. scream. Yeah. Yeah. I did not plan that. about him before because, he movie. right, uh, he's a, a freak show royalty. Is that good enough? He's a trash trash movie king. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's yeah. Um, so it's they, hard to piece this movie, isn't it? <laughs> no, they got they the dude knew where the diamonds were. It's always diamonds. Somehow, there's no pythons in this movie, but there there's are no diamonds. Pythons, yeah. It's not an Andy Sidaris movie. No, 
Uh, it's like, uh, is it trying to be more like a, an actual movie? It's yes. trying to be more serious. Yes, yeah. it definitely takes itself more seriously. Because they're like, we're stunt people, and mm-hmm. this is, we're going to show you our craft mm-hmm. in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I guess it does have like a plot structure, which is stronger than like an Andy Sidaris movie, but it's somehow also less fun than an Andy Sidaris l- movie. Yeah. yeah, you're not going to get any hard cuts to passion. Yeah. In this movie, like and we it, did in Heart Takes Well, we're in at the very yeah. beginning, five minutes into the movie. I, mean, I was like, okay, we're setting that, a tone I think, here. I think that, well, I think so, but that is what draws you in. Yeah, it's let it's less bad shit crazy. There's no exploding snakes. <laughs> right. 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 It's, yeah. yeah, there is less like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, yeah. I think we can verbalize it for this movie. It seems more, a little more coherent than, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm bazo- sorry. Bazooing snakes. Am I imagining this or at one point did you compare this to Heat and you compared it to Bullet? Yeah. And did I think that, we threw Die Hard in there did that happen yes, during this movie? I was, I was, he went heat. I said, well, bullet to heat. And then <laughs> this one is 48 hours. Uh, uh, it's a little bit of uh, lethal weapon. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> it's a lot, just it's like, a lot of lethal are, weapon. There, yeah. was, <laughs> there was a slight gun chase down a block of a street, and I'm like, this is like heat. Yeah. <laughs> and Holly was not okay with I'm that. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the main uh, the dynamic So Gregory here. Scott Cummins is like De Niro. All yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so they the the, the two FBI guys Pacino? and uh Earl, sorry, Panama. Panama. He's like I'm getting too old for this. He really he's he's uh he's uh, He's dancing he's around 32 it. 32 yeah. years old and no more than that yeah. can't be. <laughs> but he is too old for this shit. That is his attitude. Okay, but in 80s 32 is much different than a now 32. That's true. true. People aged harder because and faster he back started then. his career at 18. Yeah, yeah like, he said yeah. I've been doing yeah. this since 1970. Or whatever, 1975, maybe something like that. Yeah, and they're complaining about the FBI. There's a lot of complaining about the FBI that, like, you know, you you do all this work for them, and then you you end up, you know, somewhere playing golf or whatever. Always count on the FBI. There's these diamonds, right? Uh, Yes, and so uh, Carmen Mm -hmm. may know where the diamonds is. She just doesn't know that she knows where the diamonds are. She's the only witness. So yeah. they, the two get She's FBI the Joe guys, Pesci of this movie. Yes. They have to find the, use her to find the diamonds. <laughs> Holly just walked out. Like she just left the basement because she can't I deal with Holly's Sean. Holly's leaving. <laughs> really? I can't put even Joe Pesci's off limits? Wow. All right. If anything, Joe Pesci is the most off limits in this group. Oh I my think, God. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. I had no idea. He, he is a please specific express, energy. So. Please express your feelings about Joe Pesci. I love, love Joe him. Pesci. Yeah, love we him. all love Joe Pesci. Yeah. My cousin Vinny is beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I yeah, live for okay. a Joe Pesci freak out. Me too. Is he on cameo? Can I pay him to like yell at me? I don't think he would know how to work it. That doesn't, yeah, someone, that doesn't yeah, stop people from being on cameo. That's really. true. Yeah, but Joe Pesci's, Joe Pesci's got no time for that. Mm, I, you'd I be feel, surprised who really nah. shows up on cameo. I'm you look and see. If Joe, if Joe Pesci's on cameo, I'll buy you a Joe Pesci cameo. <laughs> oh, oh, I think don't say that to your knowledge of boss. Kayla, it, fuck you. It might be like a $500 cameo. You I know think mean, he's yeah. just on standby for Scorsese at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. I mean, that's yeah. at a certain age, you're just like, he's the only one I'm going to work for. Yeah. So, yeah. I was going to say, is that the only person who employs him at this point in time? I don't know. I don't know. More people Joe Pesci is not employ? on cameo. Oh, uh, what a bummer. A he's day. on I'm not retainer surprised. for Joe Pantoliano is, though. All right. I'm that's a wow. close, that's when you can, when you can literally tell that you went down a level with <laughs> Joe Pesci did. No, no, no offense no, to Panoliano, Joey Pants, we love you. That's who they turn up in the search. They're like, hey, so you know, jo- like Joey Joe Pesci's Pants not here, but we got Joey Pants. Pants. Yeah. yeah, he's good too. Yeah. <laughs> Matrix. That's like, it's like when you search for a mainstream movie on Netflix and they give you some like Hallmark shit, right? No, yeah, or it's that meme where it's just like we no, we have uh, we have this at home and then this at home is yeah, just right. a knockoff. Don't version worry, of it. Joe Piscopo's on there too. Uh, yes, uh, we have Joe Pesci at home. Joe Pesci Wait, at did home. Wait, Joe Pes- is isn't Joe Piscopo dead? No, <laughs> I hope not. Because he's on cameo. He's on cameo. So someone's. <laughs> I hope both. Here, let's see if there's I any hope he's dead and he also on Cameo. No offense was, to Joe Piscopo. I thought he was dead. Uh, no, he he, dead? he's still, he's, he's active on, there's videos on Cameo, so, huh. Wow, uh, you know what? He's another one. I would have thought if you'd asked yeah. me a question, yeah. Joe Piscopo's probably dead. Yeah. yeah. Probably we had some uh, lines from Dead Heat on yeah. your, uh, dead dear Heat. Yeah, dear Joe- listener, we had a lot of, uh, is this person dead this week? Yeah. Yeah. Joe mm-hmm. Piscopo is more than Joey Pants, though, for Cameo. That doesn't seem right to me. I feel He's the legend Joe Piscopo. Yeah. Joey Pants is pretty iconic in his own right. Michaela's like, no. 
no, Joey Pants, yeah. and she rolls up her sleeve and shows her saying. Joey Pants. <laughs> All right, so so this movie we're having a little trouble with. I'm sensing yeah, the we enthusiasm topic, for yeah. Action USA. Well, it all depends. Yeah, it all depends on how you feel about the scenes in between the action scenes. Those are the okay. problems. Well, I guess that's what I was trying pro- to. Okay, so well, let's. Okay, so ju- th- we got to go broad strokes here. I, I think we're okay. just setting that up. So Frankie wants the diamonds yes right the fbi guys want the diamonds she knows where the diamonds are yes there's a lot of competing companies going for the same thing and that's the next group of people that we have to introduce into the movie because frankie sends in drago Dra- oh. drago Dra- was it drago it's Dra- it's drago yeah drago okay drago. it is drago that was his name it's, yeah yes. it was God the assassin's it. name yeah. is drago fuck no <laughs> No. <laughs> Holly is just going is just offended. Holly's it's like, like, let's go back to cameo. Let's browse. <laughs> Holly's like, they're referencing so many more better and classier things. <laughs> well, Anything I'd rather. Don't do Drago like that. So yeah. there's there's th- we have three protagonists, but we also have three antagonists. We do. We, okay. have, we have Drago, we have Lucky, and we have Hitch. Okay. So now Hitch became one of my favorite characters on <laughs> as I I on my second rewatch of this, mm-hmm. just based on his odd personality and his his scrunch face his well it's his chewing face oh i would say face. His chewing he, face, he's chewing also, the cud <laughs> but he really is like yeah. he is a cow as far yeah. as chewing goes yeah but it's also his uh his relationship his his budding bromance with drago they are this is like the greatest it's thing. the greatest yeah. thing i forgot about it their bonding moment was something it's, i it, can't explain it's, it's it almost is inexplainable it's like because the other guy, Lucky, is kind of an idiot. He's the younger guy. He's Young- the younger yeah, guy. He's, he's like, well, like, I hope I can which, be like you two yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I do think that Hitch is kind of like a father figure to him. I, yeah. No, I agree. there's that one point where he's like, he's doing his best. <laughs> it, no, it's, no, speaking of Smokey and the Bandit, yeah. it's the sheriff and his son. Yes, That is. is the relationship. Absolutely, so absolutely. We have that. But... Uh, <laughs> They have this moment where they start out. It's like word association. Yes. To see like if you're best friends, but it's like it's like they're <laughs> naming prisons. They're naming prisons. Yes, and places then, they've done time. And then they go to like country singers who've done time. Right. Yeah, because I think they're guessing it, and they're like, "I went here, and well, who he's went like, to Folsom? Johnny Cash." Yeah. He's like, "Sing, sing." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it just, goes on for so, it's so long. It and does. Like, great. And they're like, <laughs> and they're like it's gazing so into each other's eyes. I know because right? it's like that dick measuring contest. It is, kind of where also, they're like, you know, are you cool or are you like, going to be? But it has it, like, yeah, but it has measuring. like eight back and forth. So it's not just two or three. It's it's, no, it's, back, it's sing, sing, it, yeah. Joliet. Yeah, right. Back and forth for a while. It's dick measuring, and then it turns into to bonding yeah they're just like yeah. we're the same like, person because yeah. this guy okay well uh so hitch is played by uh ho cowell yes uh who's a familiar face i think and like, also a dialect coach. And, yeah. and he's that. on the yeah in this movie he's the dialect coach because everybody did double duty in this movie yes. uh but ho cowell was also in other movies that we have done on this show including he's already on the wall of fame mm-hmm. But he was oh, yeah. uh, oh, in. Uh, sorry, he was in uh, Humanoids from the Deep. Yeah, he was in Kingdom uh, of the Spiders. Yeah, and the classic Mean Guns. Oh, I forgot already. <laughs> I'm reminded again. Yep. And uh, so you, you, if you see him, you'll know this guy, right? So this is Hitch. But the but Drago, right, is the guy who's been uh, brought in. And so yes. he gets off of a plane. Have you heard of Rome? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why, why are you dressed like that? Have you heard of Rome? What? When I'm in Texas. I'm so. dressed like a Texan. So he comes in a big le- duster big, and cowboy duster, hat. Big belt buckle. Yep, some some uh, plaid, a hat, big yeah. belt buckle. This guy has Black some gloves. charisma. He does. And I think this is important is this because man? otherwise this movie might have a problem. But the, <laughs> the fact might that they have a problem. Well, like it's interest <laughs> level. But these three guys are like they're the stars like, of this movie. They they keep it interesting in between. Like that they are more interesting in their obs- uh, just their abstract. They're weird. They're weird. Yeah. They're weird. They're weird. You know, like the other guys, you're like, okay, I get it. Rigs and Murta. Right. You yeah, understand the that these yeah. guys yeah. are just like. I have no idea what's coming next or yeah. what they will say. Because at a certain point, they start talking about their mothers. Yeah. 
in the, in the <laughs> yeah, crowd, right. which I remembered it was coming up. And, I, and at certain points like this, I'm like, what is everybody else going to think about this conversation? Because it's <laughs> great. Well, because the one guy's like, I'm an orphan. And they're like, He's like huh. that's, that's not lucky well, at all. Anyways, yeah. moms are fucking awesome. It's too bad you didn't have one. Like, that's <laughs> like, like, I kill everyone in this world to make sure my mama has a good uh, life. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm an orphan. Well, that's not lucky at all. No, no. <laughs> like, oh, that's, that's a damn shame, boy. You yeah. don't have a mama. I wonder if that was him trying to get in and like you it, know it was. Like, yeah. like, like, like these guys probably it, no, also no, don't have that mamas. is this it's I'm gonna do this to Holly again that is the same thing as <laughs> Chief Brody Chief Brody checking his appendix scar and realizing it's oh, not gonna go <laughs> wow how dare you that it won't match up with the other two that's exactly the energy <laughs> if I could flip this bar I would okay well, <laughs> yes I'm comparing it to every classic movie what else can we bring to this yeah well okay so so Drago is played by uh, Ross Hagen. Uh, who was in Angel, which we ah. did. He's not on the Wall of Fame, yeah. uh, but he was a street cowboy in that, but not the main street, Not the main, the main. Street, yeah, who was, what's his name? Uh, oh, oh, shit. Uh, 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 like, yep, I should have that name on the top of my head. Rory Calhoun. Calhoun, yeah, Rory Calhoun. And, uh, but Ross Hagen was the executive producer on this movie, uh-huh. right? should be. And he was also Michaela. He was a voice actor in Red Dead Redemption 2. He was <gasps> Landon Ricketts, if oh, you remember. Oh, yes, I do yeah. remember. Wow. All right. I need to go back. Now I've been itching to replay that game, to go actually. play. I can um, see that. And in and, and some of the later, the bloopers, it almost sounds like he's directing the movie. But uh, <laughs> so, okay. He does so, in like a force on set. Yeah, he is as a character, but it's I feel like, like his, that's was close that to him. Part written so he could. He's like, I'm playing this one. I think and, so, know. and he's like, I'm gonna do a little rewrite on this. Yeah, to my strength, because he is like out there a little mm-hmm. bit, you know. Like, so the three of these guys, the assassin <laughs> and the two kind of professional, uh, you know, like uh, uh, cronies, cronies, goons, yeah, are chasing our heroes across country, across yes, Texas. This is the USA. It's only Texas, it's just but this Texas. is the USA of yeah. Action USA. Yeah, and that is our movie, the the long chase, because they can't get on. They need to get the witness to the FBI mm. uh, head, which is uh, William Smith, who we've also talked about, uh, Conan's dad, on yeah. this movie, mm-hmm. on this uh, podcast. Um, but they missed two flights, and so we got to <laughs> go by car. And by car means that they're going to have narrow run-ins with the bad guys at every turn through this movie Mm -hmm. so there's going to be a car chase every 10 minutes every 10 minutes at least yes yep any good ones i like them well we have yeah because there's there's there, I pretty much every time there's a chase, there's some car like flying through the air right, at some they, point. Yeah. Some explosions. Yeah, there's, there's always, explosions. It always right. is an explosion. It's, it's, if you ever get to a point where you're just like, all right, another car chase, and they're like, ooh, explosion. Like yeah, they, just, they, they yeah. add it. They do my favorite car stunt, which is the like to turn around, you back up really fast and yes. whip the wheel to turn around. That they is do that my favorite. Every time they have to turn around, and I. Love it. I want like to do that so bad. I was like, it. can I learn how to do that? I want to do that so bad. Or you just find a big parking lot <laughs> yeah. and, and you go to town. <laughs> yeah. find something All right, Holly, this is what we're going to do next over. weekend. Yeah, we're yeah, going to learn yeah. how to do this. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe yeah. like wait down the truck a little bit or wait yeah. it down a little bit just in case. Well, they're in a Charger, I think, right? Was yeah. it a Charger, a Challenger? A Charger. Something like that, yeah. And the other, our heroes are in a variety of uh, like sedans Tr- truck and sedans and beat up shit. Um, we end up at a well, the, the, I think the first chase is uh, the bad guys abduct Carmen, right? They got Carmen. So then there's shootouts and all this stuff as they have to get Carmen back. She's trying to get away from the, the, the bad guys. Yep. And then there's a later one where they abduct uh, the main dude. Uh, name? C- Clay. 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 They, they yep, abduct but- Clay. And then it's like, now we got to get Clay back. <laughs> right, because Clay gets captured. That's when they, they drop. <laughs> That's when they're driving through the town and they drive through somebody's home. Oh, yeah. And the house yeah. explodes. And, and, well, then the guy's like, you drove through my goddamn bedroom. And he's like, sorry, dude. And then after all that. But that was a rando. That he, wasn't even one of our no, like, random party no. that's chasing each other. He says, sorry about your house. <laughs> and then it explodes. And then yeah. it explodes. Amazing. And the way it explodes is like from underneath the roof and the roof just drops <laughs> straight down. It's like yeah. the, it's, it's like a cartoon explosion. And I love it. Yes. Yeah, it's great. It it's great. I think we were all like, that was a chairworthy moment. <laughs> I think well, yeah, well, there's, it a, there's really that and another one. But because the explode, it looks so good. Like it's yeah. a big fireball. Like mm-hmm. yeah, you can tell when. And they're just yeah. the realness of it. I felt it. I yeah. felt that fireball. 
Well, the the other one was the uh, yeah, was gas, gas station. station. Oh my god, the gas, that was the the best one. They had a full on mushroom. Club. That was amazing. Huge. Amazing. How did that even happen? I can't even remember. I just remember like the car coming out through and like. <laughs> And the whole thing goes up. I don't up think we know how it happened. Flaming I think it tires happened. are flaming flying. Flaming tires out. are flying. Yeah. It's so good. It's such a good explosion. Not only are the flaming tires flying, but they're spinning in the air while they're yeah. flying. Yep. It yeah. looks really cool. It's, it's just, wonderful. There's just so much of this movie that has blurred together, but there's like, there's milestones in this movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Well, they also do like, um, because I think that's like a part of an, an action thing, you know, like the beat of a chase scene. It's best if it climaxes with the car going over the cliff or going hitting the embankment or whatever, and then it it crashes. Mm-hmm. Hold, then <laughs> cut to boom. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. and then they go point. the extra mile to then have the guy on fire, <laughs> like that's right, you know, careening down the, the shooting his gun. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He gets out of the car to in the, like the the L.A. River, and he's just yeah. shooting everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did that a couple of times. Mile. There's like, uh, you know, like guys on fire falling off of bridges. Right. It's like you thought you were just going to get the car explosion. You wait. It's like they we were making up for every time, like a scene in it and in like a Hollywood movie they were in got cut or like they're like, oh, that I I ran for, you know, like 20 feet in that fire suit and the director cut it off at two. This is them right. getting <laughs> yeah, all like, everything no longer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all the fire stunts. Yeah. We will feature all of you no matter how bad it looks. Yeah. I don't know. Are we overselling this? I mean, like, you know, maybe because I remember there is a lot of boring shit in between. these. Yeah, scenes. there is. Well, the, okay. there is, there's a honky tonk, a racist honky tonk, a racist honky tonk. Well, is there any other kind? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was, that's true. I was like, we are at a honky tonk in Texas. Yeah. I guess I should not right. be surprised. Right. <laughs> well, I yeah. mean, during this time, we are learning more about Carmen's personality, uh, how she just takes over everything. Yeah. And uh, the world revolves around her. Because yeah, yeah. she just jumps on stage, grabs a microphone, and starts singing she's in the middle the of villain. somebody else's song. <laughs> she is she's the villain. She's the villain. She's the villain. Feels like it. Can you imagine? Just, just listener. You're at a, you know, <laughs> listener. You are oh, at no. a, your local bar or whatever, and it is not karaoke night. No, there's it's a not. band. There is a full on band playing, yeah. and someone jumps up and literally takes over for the lead singer and starts singing. And the band is cool with it. They love it. Everyone's down with it. It, it like brings people together. It, it really like, does. Just <laughs> there, there was an applause scene where she, it feels like a dream. It sequence. stopped a fight. Yeah, the yeah. entire honky tonk was fighting, and she stopped it by singing. I just imagine the secondhand embarrassment you would have. Like you don't even have to know this person no. to feel embarrassed by what's happening right now. But I just, I, I couldn't get out of that bar fast enough if this, if I yeah. was in this situation. Oh my but god! But we're saying like that is actually. What happens? Like it sounds crazy when you no, talk about it, happens, but that's yeah. what happens. Mm-hmm. They go into this honky tonk bar. Why I can't well, actually even remember. So we can have this scene with Panama. It was because yeah. uh, uh, Carmen they, needs Panama's to eat. Black, no, they, they the literally mm-hmm. stopped because the car was overheating. They needed water, and she needed to use the bathroom. Right. Okay. That's so it. they go to the honky tonk, right, where Panama's uh, like standing out like a sore thumb, and so yep. there's going to be some mm-hmm. kind of confrontation, and there is that kicks off. It signals to everyone it's fighting time. So everybody because just be, th- that's when a guy looks at the camera and goes, "All right, a fight!" <laughs> yeah, and then punches the camera. Like they were all tensed up and square dancing, the, just in any, waiting in for any an excuse to honky fight. tonk. There is a simmering fight just waiting to happen. It's right, always just below. You're the just waiting for somebody to get to thrown a through a uh, lattice work. Yeah. yeah, which which fucking Panama does which twice. Can, <laughs> did you know that you can hide behind lattice work and smoke a cigar and nobody will know you're there? <laughs> that was like closer lattice work at a restaurant it was still lattice work it's still it's still fucking balsa wood stapled together it, yes <laughs> and this uh fight bar wide fight culminates in carmen singing and her singing soothes the fighting mm-hmm. yeah. and everybody applauds and Standing stands in a, in a line they were so standing, she but... can trot down the line and they applaud this is why it feels like a dream sequence. <laughs> yeah. like, like, who does this? <laughs> she sang half a song, folks. Okay. Like to yep. me, this felt like something that would happen in the apple. Like it feels like in the <laughs> apple she would sing and like a problem would be solved. Oh, yeah, right? Like, be, yeah. yeah like, like, oh, you're a millionaire. We <laughs> yeah. use your record contract. Yeah, yeah. This felt like <laughs> Which is, it, it feels like that's what she apple. got at yeah. the end of singing half of this song. Yeah. Yeah. She was walking down the aisle to sign a record contract. And like, is this band like a famous band, a known band? Because she knew uh, their song. Cherokee Rose. Cherokee. Cherokee Rose. Rose. 
karaoke? Yeah, Cher- you, Cherokee. you were putting okay. in the karaoke well, there. Yeah. Not listening to Cherokee. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Cherokee Rose. But like she knows the the song he's singing. Yeah. So what's the what's what's the deal here? Like, Don't know. It's amazing. That's all. She was over transcendent. Huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. She could feel it. She didn't know the words before she got mm-hmm. on that stage. Mm-hmm. Yep. She has uh, unwittingly revealed where the diamonds are located in beneath a windmill. Remember that stuff we were telling you earlier about uh, Holland and windmills, and snow and, and ice, chocolate and dykes. Why didn't, yep. he, why didn't he just fucking tell her? Because he yeah. was like, I can't tell you where I got this like cool Corvette. I think because the original he was just dude literally tripping out because he was just making no sense. Yeah, he's like, it was they're a coming word to get salad, me. Yeah, it really was. And uh, so then the bad guys, this is when the bad guys abduct uh, Clay. Yes. And take Clay for a ride. And then there's a tense scene because there's several scenes where like they end up at the same uh, motels. There's a scene where she's in a motel, like all covered in blood, needs to clean off, and they're interrogating her as early in the movie. And then yep. she goes to the, she gets out of the shower, you know, sexy shower the next morning, and goes to the window. And Pamela's like, get away from that window. She's like, why? And she pulls back the blind. And 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 big muscly Freddie Mercury just bursts mm-hmm. through it and tackles <laughs> Like her. he's been standing there for like three hours just waiting, waiting for yeah. her to pull the curtain yeah. as like the signal to go. Yeah. That's the room she's in. It, it, like he had a running start to actually smash through that window. That, that was... would have that would have been better if she'd opened it and you could see like him running just at the last second before he burst in. Because yeah. all we get is just him going that through. That would have been great. That would have been fun because that would have like scared you if it yeah. didn't already. But then he gets blown away. Because how else was that going to end? Right. Because we got rid of the original two, uh, like, Hitman dudes, and we had to bring in our trio. Yes. Right? Um, so they uh, abduct uh, Clay. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what the plan is here. I think they're just like, you know where the diamonds are. Give us the diamonds. Your partner won't die, I'm guessing. Well, but like. partner has, uh, Panama has a Carmen, and so they're yes. chasing uh, the other guys, right? This point it's is, hard to tell at this yeah, point because, who's chasing who and for what reason. Because I remember that um, there is a, a chase scene between a pickup truck and the, and the charger, and they're going down the street. Yep. And at some point, uh, Clay is in the back with uh, Lucky. Well, oh, think, yeah, with right? Lucky, who's got to fight through the back window. They go through the back they, window. I, do. The I love a fight that starts, and then they fight through the back window. Like, yeah, because she's, punches as she's they driving through. right beside, you know, people are trying to shoot at her, right? And so she's driving, and she's like, Clay! And he knows that that's, like, his cue. He's got to get over to the... Uh, yeah. Right, to, because, there's there's a, because there's another stunt up ahead yeah. that they're going to run. Well, and, <laughs> a truck has stalled across the road. And at this road. point, uh, uh, Panama has been shot. He That's has right. been shot, right. yes. He was shot and falls in her lap. Clay and, jumps over, and then and, Hitch gets and shot. And Hitch gets shot, yeah. He's like, I'll see you in hell! <laughs> <laughs> so I, would, I just want to be clear on what actually happens here, right? After uh, Clay jumps into the pickup truck, and we're yes. like, okay, good guys in their truck, and bad guys, well, now just uh, Hitch is the yes. only one left, right? Because uh, Lucky went out the back window. Yeah. And so we're saying that pickup truck went underneath the semi yep. and shaved off the cab. That's okay, exactly what we're saying. the semi or the pickup, yep. pickup truck. Yep, under the semi. Yep. You say that like it's impossible. <laughs> There's an episode of The Office where this literally happens to a character. Really? Yep. You can do this. You can drive a pickup truck underneath the semi. I've always wanted to try the cab off of it. I've always wanted to try to drive uh, some vehicle underneath a uh, thing where you have to duck out of the way. Your head pops back up and you're like, oh, I lived. Oh, yeah. I mean, Not like a Christmas vacation thing where you fit perfectly under That seems terrifying. It. Yeah. That's, I can't watch that scene. So it stresses the me out. Right? Where you get like, oh, you, yeah, where they're st- yeah, that's too fit. Yeah, where they're stuck in between them and they get yeah. smashed. And, yeah, you know, no, it's, the... it's, it's, uh, it's not good. But then Hitch, his car flips somehow as it goes flying into the semi and blows up. It blows up. Yeah. Because this is all of their stunt scenes are like, they take the time to actually show the reaction of like these random people yeah. who are standing around, like in the middle of the highway, right? There's <laughs> people getting into arguments over, you know, like your car is in the middle of the highway. And uh, they're like, oh shit, look what's coming. And you see the reaction right before like our heroes blaze in there yep. and crash through the thing and then blow it up. Yep. They, they blow it up real good. And Hitch dies. Sorry, Hitch. Yep. 
And so Panama, he's got to go to the intensive care. Right. And where he tells a story about where he got his name. It's very touching because, you know. Is, is it? <laughs> he grew up in New York. This is a shit story. Was, or Newark. Was it New Jersey? I was think it Newark, Newark, yeah. Yeah. That's even worse. And the further, the furthest <laughs> that his, or his parents had only been as far as Coney Island, but they, they wanted him to get to Panama. So they yeah. called Panama, and then it stuck. No, <laughs> it's stuck yes. because that's how you introduce yourself to everyone, you dude. You literally tell people to call you Panama. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Thanks, you made that that Thanks, T-Bone. Appreciate that. Yeah. That's why we're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin. I'm uh, Laredo. Laredo. Uh, you can call me Laredo. L- uh, what were you? Little Italy. Little Italy. <laughs> <laughs> a little something. Um, As she holds a gun to me under the <laughs> table. It's like, you got it? So we're like, well, clearly now it's going to be down to just our heroes, uh, Clay and Carmen, right? They have to get the diamonds to the head of the FBI, Williams. Well, yeah, and they're also delivering her. Like, that's his point. I'm going to get you to my people. They're going to take you up to Oklahoma or something. And put you in a safe house or something like that, right? You're going to be safe from Frankie. trust them. We've been cutting to his, quote unquote, FBI boss every now and again, who's been like, damn it. Give me information. Well, and that's it's William it. Smith. So, yes. damn it, give me some information. Yeah, that voice. He's got a baritone. That voice is something else. It's grizzly. It mm-hmm. is. Yeah. It's like he has cigarettes in his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any other way to describe it. It's like he's talking through them. It's amazing. <laughs> and so there's a climactic scene on a bridge where we mm-hmm. determine because now uh, Lucky is dead. He got shot. Correct. Oh yeah, there was a building. Um, oh, more chases shit. the building. Yeah, I totally forgot about this awesome stunt scene. <laughs> mm-hmm. We all there was a lot of driving through uh, parking complexes. We had a lot of yeah, that. Too much. Too, too much, probably. Too much. I agree. With too many left turns. Mounted on the front of the car, so we can't see where they're going. It's right. just kind of yeah. It, yeah, like it's it. it's crazy. Didn't it's, like it. It's disorienting. It, it's certain ones are fun, but then they end up somehow going into a high rise where they where they still have Carmen. Drago has Carmen, and Lucky is there as well, and they've kidnapped, or and they're, they've caught um, Clay, and they're bringing him up there, and and Drago's like, all right, send this guy to heaven, and so Lucky's like, with pleasure, and then he goes to shoot him, and he goes like, oh, fuck. My gun's empty, yeah. Like, his reaction to that was just, <laughs> it felt so genuine <laughs> to, his, to his dim-wittedness, <laughs> and then he gets punched out of... Uh, 20 story window. You ain't lucky mm-hmm. anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. 20 like, story min- window, yeah. Sean's not exaggerating. It is one punch and this guy goes flying. One punch and he goes through and he yeah. flips like five times. And he's like he's, flailing. It's a great fall. It is a great fall. a couple great on fall. the street right below him. Right. That, you saw him as soon as he came out 20 seconds <laughs> yeah. before he even gets near them. Yeah. They he's had like, plenty of time to oh, get Oh, plenty away. of time. They could have yeah. watched it and been like, yeah. Oh. yeah. They hear the glass shatter. They're like, shit, we got to clear out. Right. They were waiting for it. Too bad our car is right here. Yeah. Uh, so he but, does a swan dive onto a car. I guess, fall. but that's the thing, like, you know, that you're going to follow this. This guy is going to fall off of a 20 story building or yes. whatever. And we're going to follow it slow motion the whole way down. Stunt guys, right? Doing mm-hmm. stunt guy mm-hmm. shit yep. all the way onto this the back just, of that car. This just reminded me of a uh, lethal weapon. Yeah. The whole jump yeah. scene. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 reminds yeah, me yeah. Of, yeah. Which is not bad. So I have a question about stunt guys. How do you become like a stunt guy? Do you just like decide you don't there's give a, a shit of, about your health? I think there's a yes. lot of family stuff at a certain point, like but through like, the generations. But like, no, no, okay, okay, How do you okay, just okay, get into it okay. off and the there's bat? A lot of, like, it's not like there's a like genetic ability off. to be a, You're like, a stunt no, guy. No, there's no. I mean, the only genetic ability you have is maybe you don't give you, a shit about yourself. Uh, like you, you can <laughs> land great. Um, <laughs> what kind of like insurance policy does a stunt person have? Well, this is, uh, but the, oh, yeah. these are all good questions. Like what, like. I think you start as a rodeo I, clown. I, just, I need to know. And you want these more? Well, you, yeah. start, you start as a thrill class seekers. clown or something, right? Yeah, you're thrill a thrill seekers. seeker and you're a class clown. You like the attention yeah. and you goof off, and then we've all seen Jackass. Yep, I think right. it becomes it's those people. So you're saying it's the, the kid that you're like, I'll give you a dollar to eat this worm. Yes, yeah. yeah. Grows up I'm to become like, a stunt person. Or, yeah, exactly. or, but, or it's the kid who's convinced to jump off the garage with yeah, the umbrella. Yep, yep. Yes, and he's everybody loves it. And for ten seconds on his way down, it was the greatest thing for him. Okay, I have two. Then he broke his leg. You know what? I get it now. Okay, I have two words for you. Huh. Operation Badass. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what it that all is. comes back to it's always sunny. It always comes oh back God. to it's always there's sunny. A, there's, there's like Which a, Gregory Scott Cummins was? <laughs> there's a show within the show and it's always sunny that Mac 
Mac does, or he tries to like fake cool stunts like this. <laughs> yeah, called Project Badass, and yeah, I think pops up like once every couple of seasons. Just when you've forgotten about it, Mac's yep. making another Project Badass video, yep. and there's one where he jumps off a bridge, <laughs> and Danny DeVito, which I can't believe that we're what seventeen seasons or whatever deep, yeah. and he Danny DeVito's still on the show. I know he just like the way they edit it, it's cut in. He's like, suicide is badass. <laughs> like, no, he's not committing suicide. He's doing a stunt. Like, like it's a whole it's, it's a great, great bit. Yeah. It's great. Uh, I think that is the mentality. Yeah. You're yeah. Absolutely yeah. right. And then you get paid for it and you know, I mean Yeah. But that, but yeah, yeah, like but like they like are basically sacrificing their bodies like yeah. for the sake of attention, right? right. Like I mean, they did that that it's that adrenaline high. Yeah. I mean, they just love that. Some but like they don't get the notoriety parachute. though. Like they there aren't like famous stunt people. No, you know there I'm saying? used to like, be. Yeah. Uh, right, Hal Needham and Yeah, Hal Needham. Uh, right. But okay, but that's not Needham. like a household name. No, you know what I'm saying? They, like, they've never been like, household names, yeah. unfortunately, which is why you hear people now it's like we should make this part of the Oscars and awards yeah, it and should. recognize it, it these people. It absolutely should be, I'm sure they have their own kind of yeah, they, right. know, they know who they are, I think, within the, yes. the, the you know, the industry and all that. But right. I mean, even this reminds me of uh, uh, we watched The Wolfman last week. Right? Ah, The Wolfman. There was a scene like if you watch the, the behind the scenes stuff on that, there's a scene where the Wolfman's on the top of a building and he does this jump. Right. Mm -hmm. And lands. And so that's an actual stunt guy up there. And it was like, you know, like a three story building or something in the full makeup and all that. And he did this jump. But when you watch the movie now, you know, you're so aware that the, that so much stuff is done CG and the way they cut around it. It's like yeah. there's no point to putting a guy up there and doing this no. when right. the audience is going to assume it's CG. Right. And all this other stuff. I guess right. it's like throw a green ball off a building, track it. And then there's. Your yeah. Track. And if you're not going to cut. I mean, that was the thing, I guess, about this era would be that, like, look at this guy doing this crazy thing. We're going to film it in slow motion from three <laughs> different <laughs> angles right. because you're going to see this guy actually do it. Like, and you don't almost see died, that yes. anymore. <laughs> And I guess maybe, like, you, you think about it, it's like the reason you don't see that in movies is because it calls attention to itself. It's like out of the story where it's like, no, we're going to focus on this moment of this guy doing this crazy thing. Right. But is there know? is there a school for stuntmen? Oh, like, yeah. There has to be, right? Because oh, yeah. there has for, to be like, a way. Driving and stuff like there has that. to be oh, a yeah. way to learn how to do these things safely. Yeah, yeah. Not, oh, definitely. You know. There are, there are yeah. some tools yeah. and organizations and yeah. guilds. Yeah. Because I'm just like, how do you get hired? You can't just show up and be like, I'm willing to do whatever, and they get hired. It's not how, like, right. the, no, the I'm film sure there is and stuff official work. steps yeah. towards yeah. this, but because we don't give them any recognition, of right. that, we never, like, learn about it. And they're probably sure unionized, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I yeah, would yeah, hope yeah, they're yeah. unionized. Oh, yeah. If you're throwing yourself around. Yeah. Almost, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a thing now that, uh, you know, I mean, it's a lot more regulated and stuff probably than back right. In, right. In, the, in these days, you know, the right. <laughs> outlaw territory for <laughs> stuntmen <laughs> in the 80s, late 70s and 80s. Yeah. Um, but the movie resolves itself. It turns out it's The FBI boss a, is a turncoat. Oh, my God. I didn't oh see God. that coming. William Smith. He's like... He also wants the diamonds. Because he's like, the FBI, I worked there forever, and now all I'm going to get is I'm going to play golf. Yeah. I'm going to become a retired secure. I'm going to become a uh, security guard. Yep. This movie's really anti-FBI. Yeah, it is. <laughs> They're well, really yeah. not fans. <laughs> <laughs> They're not fans. They're well, never there when you need it. It's what? The idea that you're going to you're doing a cool thing, and then you're going to grow old and get out of it, and like, what are you going to get out of it? Nothing. But we're going to take the diamond. We're going to take... What about all those, about all those guys? Even Panama's like, they'll give you a half ass pension and then send you off. And well, like, he's Why considering we do doing it, right? And at the end of the movie, so after the big fireworks on the bridge where fiery guys on fire go <laughs> yeah, yep. fall, you know, oh, yeah, slow yeah, motion yeah, off, yeah. The, off yep. the bridge. Because there was a Molotov cocktail at one point that Carmen somehow throws out a window without destroying herself. She lights it wrong. Yeah. She lights it wrong early, <laughs> really wrong. Okay, is, is she a stunt woman or no? No. 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 Oh, so why is she in this movie then? Like, get, get, like, I'm sorry, this is stolen valor. Decided, get a real stunt she woman yeah, to, to be in this movie at the beginning of the yeah. movie. And she's cute, and she can sing. I, I, yeah. I'm willing to believe there's a cute stunt woman out there. Yeah, oh, Angelina same. Jolie is a stunt woman, right? So there's gotta like, be a cute one out there, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, definitely. So, so how dare you say they're ugly? 
all stunt people are just ugly. No, I'm just saying, like, Colin was saying she's cute. That's why she's cast. So I'm there's like, well, definitely there's definitely cute, cute stunt women. women. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And if the rest of this movie is stunt men, why why is the female role well, not I don't a think stunt woman? The, the guys aren't, the, like, the actors aren't stunt. Like, mm. uh, the actors are actors. Yeah, I think Gregory Scott Cummins has done his fair share of stunts. He just, yeah. just flies a helicopter in every movie he's in, it sounds Basically, like. Right? Yeah, because yeah, he flew it in the other one. He's yeah. on his dirt no, bike. And this one, he does the, the guy driving. Who actually flew the stunt. Or flew the helicopter in Stone Cold was the guy who flew the helicopter in like Terminator all 2? the mo- all yeah, the yeah, yeah he was movies. the helicopter right. guy it, right. but it wasn't Gregory Scott Cummins that no, was his right. whatever the 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 helicopter pilot mm-hmm. so it's like it's stunt guys you know what I mean like all the people who are running off the street mm-hmm. those are your st- actual stunt performers all showing up in the one movie because yeah. they can dodge out of the way of cars right. real fast and but you actually got real actors uh, in all the lead parts. But at the end of the movie, right, with the villain finally vanquished, right? I, <laughs> Not I, Frankie. There we don't like, see him again. Yeah, yeah, we don't see him again. But, I mean, there is like a whole deal where uh, uh, they've got Panama, like, tied to uh, explosive. In, in a car. car. They got him yeah, out of the, the, bridge. the hospital. And he's, he's wired to, you know. And there's machine Uzis going off and bombs exploding. <laughs> Drago's on a dirt bike <laughs> doing wheelies before yeah. he gets blown up and tossed <laughs> off a thing. He gets shot, but he lets go of the detonator for Panama. And we get a really good shot of Clay screaming as the camera no. rushes and goes, yep. No! <laughs> <laughs> But don't worry, folks. Panama survived. Panama's fine. Somehow, he rolled out of the car. He did. Yep, and survived. And uh, so our trio of heroes is alive. And now, turned out that diamond bag that they turned over and to uh, to, to Conover or whatever the yeah. name of the guy, the head of the FBI, and took with him to the bottom of the river. Had the bag had a hole in it. Mm-hmm. So there's a few diamonds. How lucky. Uh, as, still- uh, as they would say in Too Fast, Too Furious. I'm not hungry anymore, cuz, as he's got the money in his... Does anybody not know part two as well as I do? Do you not. feel the disgust coming off me right now? Jesus. Like part two's direction. fun, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to participate in that franchise it used in to any be, way. All right, it used to be cool. I don't know what it is now. You're the first person I've heard be like, the second one, that's where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> the second one's fun. Yeah. Ejecto Cito, cuz. Come on. <laughs> nobody. I got nobody. No, I went from one to three, I think. Oh, I, my. I See, like fuck to... three. Yeah. What? What? Tokyo, Tokyo Drift? Drift? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, <laughs> I did not expect. <laughs> You're really living up to your sequel like thing right now. I, you, I, like, I, the second I, I, one. That's it's so not one. an X. <laughs> These next, are my true feelings. Next, he's gonna be like, you know what wasn't bad? Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, yeah. That's wasn't what he's so bad. Be. I didn't see it. It yeah, was like, awful. <laughs> was, oh God! I remember Colin and Holly both hating yeah. that. Like yeah. I said, but like hated I said, it. they used to be cool. Now they're yeah. just something else. They're super well, the first one for douchebags. The first one's pretty good. Yeah, first first one's, good. Oh, yeah, the kid. Decent. I watched the first one with the kid. He loved it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. first one's decent. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I think, I think our heroes uh, are going to take the diamonds uh, instead of their FBI pensions. I think so. Years. Yeah, and they're going to move to Panama. They're going to move to Panama. I smell sequel. There well, no, go, which... they decide not to go to Panama because it's really violent. Oh, there. yeah, They're going to yeah. go to St. John. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is this the part with all the bad ADR? Over yes. them getting in the car. I could. Yeah, this was, was too much for me to take. I just. See, now they're going to go and they're going to hang out in wherever they're going and then they're going to get that. What is it? The Chinese food delivery that had the secret message in it of the paper. This is <laughs> hard cut or uh, hard ticket to a uh-huh, uh-huh. There you go. Like that yeah. is like we get transition from this to that. <laughs> it's also easily. the Meg. Do you remember that scene in the what? Meg? Now, see, now I'm offended. <laughs> you bring up the worst movies. You can remember that scene in the Meg where uh, Jason Statham's living out on that like fucking resort bar in like oh, Taiwan yeah, like or something, yeah. and he gets like a message. Yeah, you gotta go save <laughs> my a wife. Giant star shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come out. yeah, no, it was like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh boy. Time to rewatch the Meg. Okay, so uh, take that know. back. Yeah. We're gonna tell you whether or not you should watch Action USA. USA. But before that, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. I thank you, Igor. I'll bet most of his pieces came from stunt dudes. Ooh, Probably yeah, they sewed unsuccessful back stunt dudes, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, I, you know what? How many movies do you think he's ever? I bet Igor had a previous life where he was a stunt dummy. <laughs> do you think he has movies. a nitrous switch? 
Definitely. Yeah. Just on him? Yeah. Like he can, yeah. Yeah. He's powered by nitrous. Yeah. I'm down for it. Yeah. I mean, why not? He just farts blue flames yeah. at this point, probably. <laughs> Gets us the mail extra fast. Yeah, that's right. It was yeah. speedy quick tonight. So, yeah, so then he quick. went away and he so exploded. Quick, yeah. Yeah. And he did that quick turn. He did that turnaround <laughs> thing that we were talking about. Right. Yeah. yeah that's how yeah. he left that's the room. He and then he went the there room. and then yeah. he exploded. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, we'll put him back together. I was gonna say it's yeah, not yeah, the first time, yeah. won't be the last. He's fine. He's he, fine. Does, fine. he does that it, it, like when we watch Trick or Treat and like you know how Sam could pull his hand back on it, reattach. Yeah. Igor can like do that yeah, with yeah, all of his yeah. body. Yeah, it takes him a like, while, yeah. it's basically, very gross. He's basically Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. Sometimes though he gets the, the arm and the leg mixed up when backwards, he yeah, 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 yeah. So. Or he puts like the left hand on the right side, and it's yeah. like, dude, that's not gonna help you. <laughs> like, he yeah. walks a little weird. The elbow bends the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. It's creepy yeah. if he comes at you in the middle of the night <laughs> yeah. like that, yeah. which yeah. he has done before. Oh, I'm glad it's Colin's problem. It. Yeah. He does. He's like, ha ha. ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to let the good folks at home know how. Let you Love know you, how Igor. you can participate on this interactive portion of our show. By following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, Action USA, Michael Whitaker writes in and says, Action USA sounds like the line of knockoff G.I. Joe's that you find at the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah does. it is. Yeah, it yeah. sure does. The low profile I can even line. see it in like the G.I. Joe logo. I can see Ac- Action USA in like yeah. the form of that yeah, logo. Yeah, and it's yeah. those little figures like at the waist. If you pull them up, it's just a little rubber band connected to a hook. Yeah, yeah. It's like yes. one of those old yep. ones. Or yeah, just like, oh, I can break that easily. The, the Action the, the action USA logo at the front of this. It was. I think USA was red, white, and blue. Yes. Right? Action was. was red. USA was blue. And, and they had little stars for the period. USA, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Joey Blythe writes in and says that Action USA has the best. He says the best cover art is the one that looks like it's going to be a stuntman's version of a work safety video. Let's kick some educated ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's got oh the rubber. God. He got the rubber. He That's got the rubber. Where yeah, he shot the, the tire. Uh, tire. Yeah. yeah. Oh my there's, God. There's work so many little videos. things. He got the rubber. Work Jeff safety video. I'm going to like say, <laughs> Joey Boy, thank you for that. I'm going to keep that in my back pocket for like a with descriptor. Yeah. Work safety video. That's good. That's it good. is a good one. Yeah. Uh, last week we watched a movie called The Wolfman. Mm. Uh, Travis Legler writes in and says, I don't dislike director Joe Johnston. His work on October Sky was really good, but I got to be honest, he made the cheapest looking Jurassic Park movie. I also used to say the weakest story for a Jurassic Park film. Then I saw Fallen Kingdom and yeah, that was yep. the new winner. There you go. Hearing you guys talk about how Rick Baker was snubbed on doing the transformation reminds me of how Tom Woodruff Jr. and Alec Gillis got screwed over on the 2011 The Thing. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. one year after this movie. And he wants to remind Sean that we got a practical Hulk transformation done by Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno for five seasons. Mm-hmm. We did. I was When I was making that comparison to the werewolves... It was that the werewolf has been a law around a lot longer than the Hulk, and we've seen so many different variations of that as compared to a Hulk. I think we get more werewolf history than we do Hulk history. Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I think they're about the same, but... I don't think so. Yeah. How long have we had werewolves in movies and cinema? Uh, about the same as time we've had Hulk years. on TV. Almost 100 years. We have oh, not yeah. had the Hulk on TV for 100 years. <laughs> 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 there is a difference. I'm going to go with 40, 40 years on the Hulk. Probably closer it's, to 50. It's, it's actually getting longer. Getting closer yeah. to 50, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, but we, the werewolf timeline stopped in what, like 2010, basically? Did this kill the werewolf movie? Like, know, for long there has not been a Twilight's consistent run. After the, or before? Yeah, those are, they're the trans, those... <laughs> that's a whole separate thing that you don't want giant, me to get on. Those are just giant wolves. Well, because you don't really see the transformation because it happens in a second. Oh, so yeah. they don't really count to yeah. me because they it literally happens in midair while they're jumping. They yeah, turn into a wolf. Yeah. So it's not really like the a transformer. Same. It's not- yeah, it is like a, it, honestly, a transformer is really what it is like. Yeah. It's yeah, that's fair. like that. Uh, the week before we watched the movie called From a Whisper to a Scream. Steve Carney writes in and says, I found From a Whisper to a Scream to be very creative in the set design and stories told. However, I also thought it was painfully boring and slow at the same time. Sadly, it was the one time it was a one time watch for me. Vincent Price was always the best part of whatever project he's in, and that's no different here. I only wish the rest of the film was as good as he was. The Blu-ray of the film is out of print and going for between fifty and a hundred bucks. Wow! And I have a feeling 
that's more for the two documentaries than the movie itself. Probably. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say that Steve Carney did not like that movie because there are Carneys. In it. No. He did not like, like Carney we slander. Were, he did not like our Carney slander. I think that's why. Yeah. I, I don't know if we. I don't. I don't remember if I brought it up on the Wolfman episode or not. Do we talk about the the slicing an apple and eating it off the knife? Yes, we did. Yes. Okay, we'll in that episode. It, yeah. Okay. But that that like if you see that movie, it's they're a, the villains. It's a they're villain. the villains. Yeah. <laughs> only a villain does that. And, and is it only a green apple? I've only it's ever you, seen I feel like apple. it's usually a green apple. Uh, usually, okay. But yeah. I feel like they're always giving you some philosophy 101 lesson while they're doing yes. it. Yes, oh yeah, yeah. Life, you know? life stories. Life, some life like, story, yeah. yeah. And, and then it'll all come back around yep. to threatening your life. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Travis Legler wrote in also about From a Whisper to a Scream and said, did you guys say on that podcast that Terry Kaiser from Friday 13 Part 7 and Tammy and the T-Rex fame had passed away? I thought you did. I'm happy to report that he's alive and kicking and is currently 83 years old. Is he? Oh, my God. Why good for th- him. Do convention, think, sir. Yeah. Why did I think he had died? And that he's explains. he's 83 years old. Yeah. Years old. Yeah, I thought because I apparently we already. think everyone's dead. Uh, but we yeah. do. That's yeah. been a theme this week. We think everyone said, well, that explains the film with Lar Park Lincoln that he did do then. Yeah. Where they both come back as their characters, even though he died in that movie. See, this is why, as a listener, you have to listen to multiple episodes yes. of Saturday Night Freak Show so he can correct. Uh, some of our yes. but I appreciate on, uh, previous episodes uplifting corrections like oh go. someone's yeah, still fine. alive still thank God yeah, yeah, they like that. Like that. he's still going we like yeah. that. are we sure he's alive <laughs> <laughs> are we sure we probably just there has it. not been a voodoo curse put on but Terry watch, Kaiser by the time this episode comes out <laughs> for <laughs> oh. oh man at 83 next okay. week in the you mailbag Terry Kaiser. so uh, <laughs> so now we have another update to the Terry Kaiser Scandal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, An action dude writes in about. I was going to say, if action dude does not write in for you. He didn't write in about Action USA, though. He Uh, wrote in about From a Whisper to a Screen. I love it. uh, Next week, action dude. Terry Kaiser should make another weekend at Bernie's. In the end, Bernie could be taxidermied and shaped like a coat rack as an extra plot twist. I'm (laughs) I'm down for it. Let's do it. If they want to bring everyone back, I'd watch it. I know if he's still alive. It doesn't matter if he's alive. He can make a movie with Terry Kaiser as Bernie in. Weekend of Birdies 3. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm still not convinced he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, each one of you, for yes, writing in. You. We appreciate it. Now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Action USA, starting with... Holly. Mm, I knew it. first tonight. You knew it. Holly, what do you think of Action USA? Um... <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. I can do that, too. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, there was there was a lot more slow parts than I was anticipating. I, I mean, with a name like Action USA, I expect True. nonstop action. Surprisingly, no bazookas in this movie. Yeah, no bazookas, which is always been. a disappointment to me, especially in a movie of this caliber. Yes. We need a bazooka. But there was ample explosions. The good ones. So I, I think that kind of makes up for it. Um. Yeah, I I mean, you know what you're getting into with this kind of movie? There's not really much that we can say about, you know, the how technical it is or if it's competent. Like it's it's we know what this the is. Writing. We know what this is. Um I think there's enough to watch it. Like I said, it does get slow in some parts, it is kind of boring in some parts. Um, but there's enough good stuff in there that it is still entertaining. So yeah, I'm gonna recommend it. I think it's fun. I like how they put the goddamn American flag on the front. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn it, this is American. Those good explosions. We laughed several times. So, yeah, I'm going to recommend it. Good stuff. Colin, what do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I'm going to recommend it, but it is kind of like, I think if you just go like, you know, it's going to be action from start to finish, depending on your previous experience with action movies, what you're expecting might be. So it's like, okay, I got to set your expectation here. It's real guys doing real stunts. Uh, Some of them are, it's not like jaw dropping. It's more like, Oh, look at that. It's a real guy doing a real stunt. He's jumping off the roof or he's hanging out of the helicopter or something. So if you can kind of see it as like, you know, watching real people risk their life and limb, for a year in right. <laughs> Hopefully you you have an appreciation for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If that's nothing else, more, not a like, yeah. an appreciation. I think that's how I saw the movie, and I guess that's why I'm recommending it, because I saw it as an appreciation for what these guys were pulling off. 
And I was entertained, I got to tell you, with the banter between <laughs> the hitmen. You know, like, That's, I mean, they livened up the... Because yes. it was, like I was saying before, if it was just going to be a Riggs Murtaugh ripoff, you know, it was like, well, this is not going to be all that uh, interesting. But those other three guys, you know, the counterpoints... That's what makes the movie. The mm-hmm. fact that you do have the the the, the two trios, yes. you know, mm-hmm. going through this thing. Um, stunt work was good. Uh, movies low budget, um, so it's like, you know, <clears throat> I mean, I guess you're you're seeing it as like a, a you know, stunt guys trying to get other work. Mm-hmm. That's basically <laughs> it's a good calling right. card. Like yeah. the main audience for this is someone in the industry. You know, they're you like, may, we're making this low budget movie so we can be seen by other people in the industry and then go on to do right. bigger. This is for the things. real. Yeah, yeah. I, well, it, I, I it, bet it is. It's yeah. like it's a stuntman's real. Yeah, I bet is. they had a, a screening just for stuntmen and I bet it was fucking wild. Yeah, I bet. You're like, <laughs> oh, shit. Up you loud applause. That with, uh, standing you know, oh, that would yeah. be fun. It would be fun, I think. <laughs> yeah. So that's, I Again, guess, kind of how you have to watch. And I think in order to best appreciate it, if you see it that way. Then, you know, there is a lot to like about uh, Action USA, and I recommend it. Michaela, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm really on the fence of this one because, like, every other scene, it was like, I'm in, I'm out, I'm in, I'm out, because a, a car would blow up in a mushroom cloud, and then we'd get, you know, what felt like 30 minutes of nothing happening. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and there is some, like, race politics in, like, the second to third act that is really uncomfortable to watch and seems pretty pointless for the movie overall, so I'm not sure why that's included in there. It Mm -hmm. felt like Um, that was the part where they're like, hey, they did something similar in 48 hours. Yeah, Yeah. but even, like, when they come across, like, the day laborers and they're like, we're the FBI, and they all go running, like, that is a very... That was a tired joke when this movie was made. (laughs) Um, Yeah, Yeah, for real. And... Completely but unnecessary in the movie. <laughs> I heard it was some funny, laughter yeah. in there. Everyone laughed. <laughs> I don't know. Coming right off that honky tonk scene uh, where they clearly don't want any black people, it was kind of hard to laugh at that because it's like, oh, this movie's just racist. Okay, like this movie is a racist sense of humor. Like, yeah, it, that's tough to swallow. Um, I, I, I think I'm gonna pass on it just because I was pretty bored with it for the most part. Like, they had some good scenes, but th- like. Just go watch Hard Ticket to Hawaii instead. Like that is the better version of this movie. Like it, I appreciate them for what they're trying to do and get their get their due. And I think these people deserve Oscars and deserve more recognition and deserve to be household names. Mm-hmm. But they're never going to get it if this is the kind of stuff they're putting out. I'm sorry. Like you got to give us better than this if you want the recognition. So I'm going to pass on it. Mm-hmm. Sean, what did you think? It's fair. You two are lucky in that you got to give your reviews before it was pointed out that of the racist stuff in it. And now I have to give my review and say, I like it. <laughs> after hey, hey, we all watch the same movie. It's I'm not lo- like you stepped out of the room during that scene. I, I was just no. the only one who chose to speak about it. No, I don't think it's that bad. I think it, it, they're, I think they're going. So, for- as someone who's not at all affected by the race dynamics in the movie, for you Obvi- to say, oh, it's not that bad. It's like, oh, it doesn't affect me at all. But also, yeah. like, they're really going for, like, cliche stuff like i don't take it seriously because i don't think they're necessarily taking it seriously i don't but that's also it's not what this movie's about mm-hmm. um what this movie is about is action in the united states of america <laughs> and for, and of, for, texas. <laughs> of texas S- sometimes and for that <laughs> uh and for that i do really i mean appreciate it is an appreciation movie um uh I, yeah it's fun and like colin like you said uh i forgot about the banter, the the alcoholic chemistry between the hitmen and everything, because I forgot how funny it is and how just off the wall weird those guys are. Uh, they make the scenes that are not action very enjoyable. Um, I think the action in this movie is very fun. Um, so, I mean, I'm I'm gonna recommend it. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. I think you will too. I think there's enough there. Little moments, big moments, big explosions, little car chases. I love it. <laughs> I recommend it. I think you'll. Uh, I think you'll like it too. Action US. And we found it on Vinegar Syndrome's Blu-ray. It may be streaming somewhere. I think it's on Amazon. I think when this came out, it went to Amazon to stream. Okay. So it should be there. All right. They seem to have a pipeline anyway. They do. uh, Yeah. Okay. So that's Action USA. Next week, we're watching a movie that's chosen by. Holly, what are we going to watch next week? Well, I Uh thought maybe it was too soon for another anthology. Oh. But... I do what I want. <laughs> so we're going to watch the Mortuary Collection. Oh. Oh, that's a new one with Clancy Brown. Well, new. It's okay. mm-hmm. new, new three years old. Yeah. Oh, I've never heard of this. I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've seen this. It went to Shudder. Shudder. It's on Shudder. I don't Shutter. know if it 
like had a festival screenings or the something mortuary like that. mortuary collection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. All right. Very yeah. cool. Always well, down for an Clancy anthology. Brown. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is he in all of them? He's the, I think he's the wraparound, yeah. probably. Ooh. Okay. Have fun. So, <laughs> you know, we had Vincent Price. He's the Vincent Price. I imagine. Oh, this. Gonna, yeah. Is Susan Tyrell going to come and knife him in the neck? I <laughs> sure hope so. We're going to find out next week with the Mortuary Collection. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>